Hi, I'm Craig Wilson. I'm a solution specialist with Avid based in the UK and here we are at the Avid booth at IBC 2018. And so here we're really showcasing our great newsroom solutions, our archive solutions, our production systems and how we're integrating all of these things together to deliver great new features and functionality uh, for the production teams and it's all about the art of collaboration. So a great tool that we're showing here is what's called Media Central Cloud UX and that's what I've got running um, here on my machine and what we're going to do is give you a quick tour around the UI and show you how easy and flexible it is to access content, create content, even do things like social media research, social media publication, editing, recording voiceover, all in one UI. That's the big thing of course. You know the role of the journalist is becoming more complex, greater expectation to deliver stuff across lots and lots of different platforms and at Avid we're really focused on helping the journalists do that uh, and working within a single tool rather than multiple different tools. So let me take you a little tour around what we have in Media Central Cloud UX. So basically what I have here, it's working in a browser. So this is running here on uh, Google Chrome on Windows, also runs on Google Chrome on a Mac. And also what we have here is access to all of my various systems. So rather than having to log into different systems, use different UIs, I can do it all directly in a browser itself. That's all I need, a Chrome browser running on my machine. So what I'm looking at here, of course, is some video footage that we've got in the system. So I can go in, I can navigate the database, I can do searching, we'll have a little look at searching in a second. But if you look here, when I go into a folder, I've got this really neat feature where I can hover scrub, I can preview clips directly in the folder itself without actually having to launch it into the video player. But of course, if I want to see a bit more about it, I can simply double click, takes me into the video player and then I've got access to some great editing controls. You can also see down here I've got my timeline so not only can I go in and I can see the video but I can also go in and edit it as well. It's also really easy to navigate the database because I have this great breadcrumb trail here as well. So for example here I can easily go back up into other folders, navigate back in, I want to look at my storm footage, there's the storm footage I've got and again the same as before I've got this really neat hover scrub feature. So I can go and access video but let's say imagine I want to write my story, I want to create some content, get something together maybe for publication to uh, our on-air system, maybe I want to get it to a web CMS system, to, to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, I can do all of that here in Media Central Cloud UX and let me show you how easy it is to do that. So here I'm looking at my video system but it's no problem because I can simply dock the video um, area, the browse app here on the left hand side and then along the top here I have what's called the fast bar and that gives me access to all the different systems that I need. So for example here I want to work in my rundown so I can just click on the rundown app and then I'm directly into my rundown so I can see all of the stories I've got in my running order and I can go in and I can create stories, I can write stories, I can add text, I can move stories around all again within the browser. So here in my timeline, if I want to do a little bit of editing, I can just pull up some shots here. I've got some great audio controls here. I can also look at metadata. I could see markers. I could do some logging here. And I've also got access to thumbnails so I can quickly navigate through the footage if I want to. So let me go back here. And what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of editing. So I can use the controls on the keyboard or I can use the mouse as I'm doing just now. And I can mark in and out and then it's simple drag and drop into the timeline. Once I do that, I can also, I can split the audio in the video. I can go in and I can add in dissolve so I can put a mix between shots. And again, I can do this all within a browser itself. So I don't need any heavy tools. I don't need any great graphics card, you know, big powerful PC. I can pretty much do this on a laptop or uh, on a, a PC or a Mac. So I can go in and I can add stories, I can add content to my stories, I can do some editing here as well, all within a, within a browser. But it's not just about doing that navigation part, we've also got some great search tools. So again, I can bring the search down here, and this allows me to then search across my entire um, uh, database to find footage. Now one of the things that we're showing at the moment is our ability of searching metadata, but we've got some really cool features coming up where we're going to really enhance that search functionality to allow people to do really cool stuff, uh, and we'll be showing that uh, in just a, a few months' time. So stay tuned for some more stuff on Media Central Cloud UX regarding search. So I can access search. 
But of course, if I'm working now as a journalist, it's not just about what I can see in terms of searching my own system. Really important factor now for journalists, of course, is social media. So we have introduced a research app. So here in my research app, I can easily go in and I can search not just wire stories that maybe come in from news agencies, but I can also go in and search other sources of media as well. So if I want to create a new search, I would just click on the Add Search button. You can see here I could search across Facebook, across Twitter, across iNews Wires, and then these searches appear directly in here. It's really simple and super uh, straightforward to, to do. You can search for a user account, you could search for a particular hashtag, for example, and just get that content directly into the system itself. This is the big thing about it, is just making it nice and simple, easy for people, people to use. But it's also, it's not just about all the things that Avid can do. One of the big things about Media Central is it's an open platform, open for integration by partners, by customers, by developers, and I can show you another example of that as well. So here, I'm looking at the research app, which, uh, which we can provide. Well, one of our great partners is a partner called XNews. And XNews have written an integration directly into Media Central Cloud UX itself, uh, and let me show you what it can do. So I'm just going to close down the, the, the search app here and open the XNews app. And what you see when I log in is this gives me the ability to search not just on Twitter and Facebook, but here I'm extending that because the power of X News allows you to do searches on, say, YouTube. You could search on news agencies, wire agencies, video agencies, and all of this material is then available to then take that content and bring it into your story itself. So solutions that Avid are going to offer, complementary solutions that our, our partners can offer through the power of the Media Central platform, and that really is about being flexible, being open. And XNews is only one of our partners that we're showcasing here, so come on down to the booth and you can see the other partners that we have as well. So I've talked about social media for research, but of course the other thing you want to do is you want to get your content out on social media as well. Well, we can also do that again using Media Central Cloud UX. So this time, let's take a little look at that. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up what's called the Publish app. And the Publish app is where I can now publish this content to multiple different destinations. So you can see here, I could publish this content to Twitter, to YouTube. I could send to a Playout server if I'm doing your know, traditional broadcast as well. And it's super easy to use because all I need to do is drag my content from the video player into here. And this then shows me a preview of what the post is actually going to look like. So I can attach video here, but not just the video. If I wanted to, I could do, get a, a screen grab. So let's imagine I want to use this as a still. I can just click this button here, select grab image, and it then grabs a high quality image from here, which I can then post. Or alternatively, I could click on this button here and I could upload an image from anywhere in my system, something that's on my local desktop or even it's in the graphic system, graphic system itself. So it's really intended to be super simple and easy to use. Just drag and drop the content that you want. This would be to publish to, to Twitter, for example. I could do the same for YouTube. I could do the same for send to playback, or I could use different versions of the content, because maybe I want to put together something that's a couple of minutes long for my playout server to use in my traditional news show, but I want to do 20 seconds for Twitter or 20 seconds uh, for YouTube. I can easily do that and I can vary the content. So all of this together in a simple browser, really super simple and easy to use. You can access it inside your facility, but with appropriate security in place, you can even access this through a VPN connection from outside the building as well, because it's all about making it as flexible as possible to help teams collaborate. So that's a quick look at Media Central Cloud UX. It's one of our great solutions that we're showcasing here at IBC. Come on down to the Avid booth. We'd love to see you here.